Okay, let's get into this video real quick. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my eyebrows. Yes, I look rough. It is okay. I got my bonnet on. It is okay. The lighting is horrible. I am so sorry. Okay, boom. So you're gonna need this brush right here. Mine's a little raggedy. I don't had it about I'm gonna say five years now. So you, you can get this brush at the Dollar Tree if you want to be cheap like me, or you can go to Target has a really good one and Walmart. But I don't believe in spending a lot for makeup because I'm cheap, okay? So, let's get into it. This little thingy right here, okay? Because I don't know what the brush is called, okay? I ain't no pro. I repeat, I am not a pro. I am not a professional by no means. So, boom. You need this brush. You're going to need this slanted brush right here. And you're going to actually need two of them. And I'm going to tell you why. Because one is going to be for blending. One is going to be for makeup. And... I know for a fact this one came from Target and this one came from Target, but that's only because they were gifts. And you're gonna need some eyeliner. So, eyeliners for choice. You could use the thick eyeliner or you can use my favorite. This little cheap eyeliner, you get it from the Dollar Tree. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so this is a uh, all-time favorite here. And you could go the cheap route because pencils are cheaper and they last longer. And you get two for one for at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> or you can get this one. So check this out. So the color that I'm using is black because my eyebrows are dark. I tried brown. I tried dark brown, medium brown. It does not look right on my face. So yeah. I got this from the Dollar Tree. What you're gonna need is foundation. That's either you can do your skin tone or not your skin tone. It really does not matter. Simply because it's just gonna be what I call a cleanup. Then you're gonna need this. And this is a cheap little beauty blender that I got off Amazon. I think it was like 98 cents. Or I might have got it from Wish because like I said, we are cheap on this channel for a reason. Because Looking beautiful, cost, and fuck that. So, hmm. So I start with my little brush. And then I just, I'm not going to be able to look in the camera, so I'm going to have to look at this mirror. I'm so sorry, forgive me. Not a pro. So, I just comb my eyebrows, y'all. And I'll show you guys how I also cut my eyebrows and how I wax my eyebrows. But uh, that's another video that's not today's video. So, I just do them on how I want them to look. Um, the reason why I do my eyebrows myself is because I feel like, why am I going to pay somebody 10 or, you know, $15 to fuck up my eyebrows when I can fuck up my own eyebrows for the furry? So, I just comb them how I like them. And, um, yeah, so let's get into it. So, what I'm going to be doing, and this is black. Because I, I like black. I don't even know if you guys could see that. Let's see. Let's see. Where's it? Okay, there it goes. It's black. And y'all, these little babies right here cost some money for a good one. Because if you go to Walmart, these things are like five fucking dollars, if not more. They, uh, but they're lifesavers. <laughs> but yeah, um, I learned that the Dollar Tree sells the exact same one dollar so you can get five of them haha uh -huh. okay but yeah nevertheless why well, spend five dollars when you can spend a dollar whatever i'm cheap okay so this is how the eyebrows are looking they looking raggedy raggedy mm-hmm mm-hmm but we're gonna give them a little life um excuse my face i did just deep cleanse my face because one thing about it when you're wearing makeup you always have to make sure that your face is protected up under there um I will do a video on my, how do you say, uh, my face care, like what I do. But uh, my skin is not perfect. Uh, I do have acne somewhere around about. It's really dry. I should probably put some oil on it. But yeah, the best thing to use is moisturizer. I am out of moisturizer. Let me tell you, use moisturizer because had I known about this when I was younger, I'd probably have perfect skin. But... um. 
The oil that I use is cucumber aloe. Can you guys see that? I don't even know. And I get this from the Dollar Tree, y'all. I really do. And it's okay for your face. So, I just put a little in my palm like that. And I just go all over my freaking face. Because one thing, if anybody who uses Clean and Clear, you know Clean and Clear dries your face out. You know. Like... It's going to slay, you know what I'm saying? Like, your acne is going to be gone with that clean and clear, depending on how bad it is. My acne is not ever been, like, that bad. But, you know, those um, who acne is uh, worse than mine, um, proactive, I hear that it works. And um, there's something that starts with an N. I can't even think about it. Uh, I used it for a while. Oh, I can't even think about it. But I quit because I didn't know that it was a chemical and your face gets used to a chemical. Then um, once you stop, you could freak fuck it up. But uh, yeah, I was trying not to cuss there. So my face is a little hydrated right now, which is good, which is good. But yeah, just use like some type of moisturizer. You can use oil. Uh, some people use lotion. I'm not a lotion kind of girl because it is the one time I will be ashy for you know it. So, no. <laughs> so, um, I just put it all over my face because I am used to this. I have been using this for about a year now, so it is okay. But, uh, yeah, just use like something, something for your face, you guys, something because... Even though, as ladies, we wear makeup, we still have to take care of our skin up under. Yeah, that's not working looking at that. But we still have to take care of our skin. Rather, we're old, young, whatever the case may be. Everybody's got to take care of their skin. So just because makeup hides all our flaws, as I like to call them, or whatever it is we're covering up, we still got to take care of our uh, face. So y'all look, I got a bump right there. That's like the worst place for me. Can't stand it, but whatever. Um, one thing about me, I don't use foundation on my face. Um, I mean, I do, but I don't. I don't use it on my cheeks, my nose, my forehead. Like, I don't do all that. Um, I just honestly use it just for my eyebrows. Um, why is because I had bad experience. I went to the mall and purchased some makeup and it was like, $40 for just foundation. And, you know, you know, they checked me out, matched me up pretty damn well. You know what I'm saying? I learned that, you know, what kind of makeup I need, what, what I'm called, you know. And uh, it just, it, my face broke out really bad. So I don't use foundation. I don't knock people who do use foundation. I actually like to learn how to contour and all that good shit. But I don't know how. So it's okay. And I'm not trying to learn how. My main focus is my eyebrows, my eyelashes, and boom, I'm good. Okay. So let's get into it. We done combed our eyebrows to how we want them to be, per se, with this little brush right here. This is step one. Okay. Now, check this out. Me personally, I use this. And what I'm going to do is, all I'm going to do is outline the top. Oops, sorry. Outline the top. Outline the bottom. Outline the bottom. Outline the top. If y'all hear something weird, it's diamond. My little puppies. But y'all. Puppy, excuse me. But yeah. I'm going to try to do this on camera. Ooh, I really, I don't do it good on camera. Now, I do the tail. Why? Because the tail just looks good to me. It's popping to me. I like the tail. You don't have to do the tail. But I do the tail in case I mess up my eyebrow. So, as you may see, I did the bottom like so. And now I'm going to do the top. I really don't care to do the top just because... My blended method, personally, you don't have to. But I do this in case I, like, mess up. So here we go.
Boom. We got eyebrows. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I almost got some eyebrows. Okay. All right, cool. Boom. That was step two. Here's step three. This is where this little brush comes into play. And it's slanted, you guys. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I didn't bring no paper towel to clean it. So, yeah. We're just going to wipe this on my shirt. That's cool. I always have paper towel to clean the brush. But if you're a beginner, you shouldn't have no makeup on it no way. But, uh, so we're going to blend this, you guys. And what I'm blending is actually, uh, just the makeup that's already on there. You know what I'm saying? That's on the eyebrow. I did them relatively dark. I am so sorry, you guys. I try not to go so dark with my eyebrows because they look pasty, like when you get tired. But that's okay because we're going to figure it out. And one thing about my eyebrows, they always look like freaking cousins. They don't ever look like identical twins, unfortunately. So we're going to go over here. One thing about this eyebrow over here, it is like permanently fucked up. And I had went to the salon to get my eyebrows done. And uh, this girl waxed them and she screwed them up like really, really bad. And now it's permanently damaged. It doesn't even grow anymore. And I know y'all like, girl, what the fuck is on your face? Well, baby, I'm going to show you in a second. Y'all feel me? Okay, okay, okay. It is cleanup time. This is my favorite part because it's like, no matter how bad I fuck up my eyebrows, they tend to look right. See, look, one side, one slow. Okay, we're going we're gonna to fix this. This is what I call the cleanup method. And I get this baby soaked. Okay, so. I love the cleanup method because, like, I really do be fucking up, y'all. Um, y'all, let's get into it. So, boom, boom, remember her? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Remember her? Yeah, she your lightsaber. So, I just blend that baby for a dear life. When you uh, apply the liquid uh, foundation, um, you're wanting to get close to the eyebrow as fucking possible. Because the close you can get it without messing up, it's going to be like your lifesaver. Y'all look at her. <laughs> look at her. She a little fancy or whatever. Okay, so we're going to come over to her cousin. Remember, I don't do sisters. I don't know how to do sisters. My eyebrows come out looking like fucking cousins. So, cool. Here we go. And I'm putting a brush up like this. I don't know if I, that makes a difference but I, I do mine at the very tip up like this and it's like painting yeah so and you blend that baby for a dear fucking life my makeup don't match me but that's okay because once I clean up, I like that little, I guess it's like a little glow that my eyebrows get. I like that. See, I don't never understand why one of my eyebrows looks square and the other one looks 
but I come like this with the other brush and I just make that bitch a square. I'm in love with the square look. I don't know why. I think because my mom does the square look and it looks really good on her face. And I've always liked that look. I was like, man, her eyebrows look cool. So, yeah, I just kind of fell in love with that look. Um, like I said, my eyebrows, they look shitty, but they be working for me. Okay. I know y'all like, why is she frowning? Because I got to get it right, sis. So, y'all. And, um, so. You can take black eyeshadow. I don't have black eyeshadow that's not sparkly. So, I take this and I purchased this off of, uh, Wish for a Dollar. It's called Misunderstood. And basically, it's a black lipstick that you can also use for black eyeliner. So, I do that. And then I go and I fill in like where I fucked up. And this is why I do to tell y'all too, because I be messing up and then I go back and then I just wipe it away for the length that I'm wanting. So yeah. Um, These are my eyebrows right now. This is what I do. Uh, One of my eyebrows, sucks ass which is always this one it used to be my favorite when i was younger but after getting it fucked up at the salon so yeah i don't like the bulginess in this one it's just not hitting sis so yeah but that is how i do my eyebrows personally um i don't think i have any type of whites actually i do i do i do so these are flushable whites for like your body and your body so, we ain't got no makeup wipes over here because, like I said, we got sensitive skin. You feel me? So, boom. This is going to be your cleanup method. And like I said, because the foundation that I am using is uh, way too light. It's obviously not my color. I'm a dark skin chick. So, I clean up like this with baby wipe. Because I get rid of that ghost look is what I like to call it. When the makeup ain't hitting, sis. Um, I don't necessarily mind the makeup being on my eyelids because if I do like my glitter look, it enhances the glitter look for me. Um, you could also use like white eyeliner on your eyelids too if you want to look to pop with some foundation. Um, y'all, let's get into it. That's not popping. Not filling it up, bro. Right? I know y'all like, but Christina, I know, baby. Hold on, girl. I got you. I got you. And I know y'all like, what are you doing? Okay, so this is how this is how this guy looks. Dollar Tree. Like I said, I'm just using it for my eyebrows, so I don't care. I just go in there. I pick up one. It's nice to do, like, your skin tone, but like I said, like I said, you know, we cheat this way. You feel me? So, y'all. So I'm going in and I'm just pressing down, getting just a little bit and just enough to wet my brush. And I'm, you know, so. And 
And I know y'all like, bitch, you just cleaned your face, girl. It is okay. Let's get it though. We gonna blend for dear life. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Boom. So, y'all know, y'all know we gotta clean it up or whatever. So, let's clean it up. Okay. So, we're gonna take our little, you can use makeup wipes or flushable wipes or a towel or rag or whatever the fuck you want to call it. You can use whatever. It's just to clean up the makeup, seriously. You ain't got to go out and buy these shits. Now, unless you just already have it because you have children or you like wipes when you go to the bathroom, then you good. So, y'all. So, yeah. These are my eyebrows. These are how I do them. This is how I like them. This is what works for me. So, yeah. And I know you're like, how your hair looks? Let me show y'all my hair because it look a mess right now. And I will do a video on that because I ended up doing that video last night three times on how I get my hair like this. And my edges ain't done. But trust me, Lee, we gonna slay them bitches. But yeah, this is my look. This is my little cheap look or whatever. So... And black eyeshadow works better than this shit, I promise. This shit just looks like this. And black lipstick is not in. Sorry. No, I'm just playing. It is for some people, just not just not this one. <laughs> but, y'all, that's how I do my makeup, y'all. That's how I do it. So, this is what I do. You know, this is the look or whatever. So, we looking a little ratchet. Maybe I could get a little sunlight. So y'all can see these eyebrows. So yeah, these are the eyebrows. Okay, okay. Hair look a little nappy, but that's okay. We we not going over, so it's cool. So yeah, this is the look of my eyebrows. And that's what I do. Because like I said, why well, pay somebody when you can learn on YouTube how to do it for the free? Please like and subscribe to my channel.